some years back, I was trying to write music that producers or labels were telling me to. They were asking for a very specific kind of pop, and they were asking for me to look in a very specific blonde pop girl way, and they, I had to act a certain way, and I had to like be a certain way, and it was all very like labeled and boxed. Mm -hmm. And I could never really get it right. And I was so frustrated, I was really sad, I, I was beating myself up. I just got to a point where I was like, you know what? F this, I am done. I'm gonna do it my way and I am going to give myself permission to create whatever I want to create. A really, really important thing to remember here is that this permission slip is only something that you can give you. It's from yourself to yourself. It all really comes from within and that permission is the one that truly matters. Right, I think it's so important to, to say that what you just said and sometimes these external sources can be really great catalysts to get you thinking. Yeah. But the long-term solution is that you have to be able to source that within yourself when you need it. Giving ourselves permission to really live as our true selves can be really scary. And I happen to know it because I've done it. Mm -hmm. Lauren happens to know it because she's done it. So if you feel that way, you are not alone. <laughs> right. But here's the thing. What is even scarier than that? Mm -hmm. Tell me. You want to know? I want to know. Okay. Even much, much scarier than that is living your whole life not really exploring who we really are. Mm -hmm. Not really living expressed as the people that we truly are. And if we don't find the permission to do it, we might just never do it. Yeah. And that's why we need to do it now. That's a really good point. Even though it's scary. Made for Lord.